can I say it feels any different to the cotton ones? Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco. I'm getting ready for the next adventure. For those of you that follow along, you know that I choose to live and work abroad. Even though I'm sitting here right now in Anne's living room, I went shopping yesterday and picked up some merino underwear. Now, I have never, I've never owned any before. I'm actually sitting in a pair right now. It's my first time, first day. <laughs> I'm home and basically I'm thinking that I can restock. It's much easier for me to do these kind of intimate <laughs> purchases while I'm home. I know the brands, I know the sizing, so it's just easy. So for years I've worn bonds, so a couple of weeks ago there was a sale on at Farmers, so I went and bought some. I have the ones that are in my current rotation now, but because I go away for a number of months, up to a year, at a time, then I do have new ones that are going to come into the rotation. I can't answer you the question about how often you should change out your underwear, but I did actually Google it yesterday and I didn't really come up with a clear answer. I'm going to continue with my current method, which is usually when the elastic goes. I like them because they stay in place. I'm not one of these people that wears a G-string because I want to contain my wobbly bum. <laughs> and that's just me. Went out yesterday with the idea, I'm going to buy two, two pairs, <laughs> and, and just work my way up to it because merino underwear is expensive. For those of you that are non-Australian, non-New Zealand, you may not know. Merino is awesome. <laughs> this is a merino top. Also I think I, because I've lived in the Riverina region of New South Wales where there's a lot of merinos, then it's just no one. It's just fantastic quality. But with that quality does come a price tag. This is Icebreaker which is a uh, Big name brand in New Zealand, so they must have it overseas. I'm sure they do. I've just never gone to look for it overseas, so I really I can't speak to that. But they have stores here, and I did look in Kathmandu and MacPack for those of you that are New Zealanders. Obviously, Kathmandu has sales from every so often, so that could be a time where you can get in and get it a little bit cheaper. It can be a way that you can broach into it because. Not everybody is going to want to go and spend. I think it's they're great for travellers because they're really lightweight. So this pair is, even though they're both the same size, it's considerably bigger, <laughs> considerably bigger than the other pair that I bought. But in terms of weight, this is 100% cotton, this is 100% merino. These are much lighter, even though there's more material. This is great if you're in the heat or if you're in the cold. That's what's so great about merino. I mean, they're soft. They, I mean, it feels soft to touch anyway, so it does feel lovely. So yes, aside from the lightweightness, so it means that you can pack it down so it is going to weigh less in your luggage than the traditional cotton ones. Also, they do say that you don't have to wash merino as often, which I must say I don't in terms of the tops. And yeah, you can wear wool a lot longer. They will decompose quicker than the cotton for when it does come time to dispose of them, so that's a nice thought. It's also supposed to be odour resistant, also they're going to dry quicker than the cotton. They're moisture resistant, like it wicks away any sweat if you're in a super hot climate. I'm sure, you know, and if you're somebody that um, is washing on the go as well, I reckon these would be really nice and easy to do if you wash in the sink or you wash while you're taking a shower. And then you can just hang them up and dry them. They didn't really have too many styles. Like I, I do, I prefer the bikini style. Now I don't think in terms of underwear are they going to last any longer. I mean, I th definitely merino clothing does. I bought both on sale, so for their regular price. So these are 15, worth $15.99, uh, the cotton ones. And these merino ones originally sell for $49.95. So as I say, these are the most expensive pair of underwear I've ever bought and then I came out with this bag. <laughs> so I also, now another way you can do it, which is what I did, of being able to look to afford it, is I went out to Dress Mart yesterday, which is an outlet store in Hornby, here in Christchurch, but they have them in other main centres, they have them in Wellington, Auckland. And they have a, they, there is an icebreaker outlet store there. So I went in and so because it's an outlet then it's cheaper so it's got the original $49.95 the outlet price is $34.96 Yesterday it just so happened that there was a 50% off everything sale which I didn't even know when I walked into the store 
because I was really squarely looking for underwear. I didn't even look up to realise that there's these sites. It doesn't have to be icebreaker either. That's what I say. I went to Kathmandu first, went to Mac Pack just to see what they had before I went to the outlet. Literally just searching through the bin because they had like a big bin of these. And I was just looking for a nice looking pair. Um, I got them in the size large. And I don't know, I had no idea. I was literally holding it up going, is that going to hold my butt? This looks really big. But now that I'm wearing a size L, yeah, it's quite fine. They also do come in an extra large as well. Can I say it feels any different to the cotton ones? It does feel a lot more comfortable. I am going to have to give it some more wear, so I'm going to come back a little bit later in the video. I did see a review on men's underwear, and because they're in boxes, shape then yeah maybe because it's not touching everything all the time then you could wear it but I'm not one of those people that's gonna wear my knickers for more than one day at a time I went in yesterday and it was 50% off so I instead of buying my two which I was gonna do I did end up with a whole bag full of them and ended up buying a week's worth of knickers so I ended up spending $169.84 which I was not originally intending to do. There was a lady in the store, and as I was rifling through the box, she's like, you'll never go back to cotton now. She didn't even work there. She was just another person, another patron in the store. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> how, I like how I look like somebody that's never worn merino knickers before. <laughs> to them thing to say that well worth it but it, no it is an investment it's one of those things you've got to try it to know how it feels for you I'm well happy with it day one feels nice <laughs> but I'll have to get out do some walking do some living Icebreak is a great brand but it doesn't have to be lots of stores here outdoor stores do have underwear so it is worth looking online first I do have some links in the description box below of merino underwear that I found so if you would like to if you don't have stores at your disposal which normally I wouldn't so that's why I'm like I need the links myself actually <laughs> give it a go they are supposed to be just wonderful and that's what I can profess to so far it's just the price today I went back to wearing my regular cotton underwear just to see what the difference is so now I've been in it for a day so it's not as soft that's that's my comment I can, I can, I'm definitely looking forward to tomorrow when I'm going to go back to the merino. Like, it's just, I mean, it's still lovely because, well, I've been in this brand for years. But, yeah, it, de it definitely does feel different. It feels like a nice step up to go into merino underwear. 